Last week, we did five classic synths of the 80s. This week, it's time for the 70s. Number five, Korg Mini Korg 700. A bit of an oddball in appearance, which I actually really like, the synthesizer sounds incredible and is truly one of a kind. The controls are located below the keyboard, as opposed to make room above the keyboard for a sheet music stand. And the controls that we know of as the auto bend, filter, and envelope, Korg named Bender, Traveler, and Expand instead. Sounds pretty epic. It also has controls for portamento, vibrato, and chorus and noise waveforms, which I think is very unique. Number four, Roland VP330. Whoa, VHS mode. It's both a string machine and a vocoder in one, so it was extremely sought after because that combination is pretty much unheard of. And it was often used as an alternative to the Mellotron. And if you want to know why it might have been used as an alternative to the Mellotron, I suggest that you watch my video on the Mellotron. Three of my favorite musicians, NCC, Vangelis, and Yellow Magic Orchestra have used this machine on their recordings. Number three, Moog Sonic 6. This little compact synthesizer is duophonic and very unique in its design, namely because it's its own suitcase. It's also the only Moog synthesizer that featured a built-in speaker instead of requiring the player to use an external amp. It also has no modulation wheel and the pitch bend wheel is placed horizontally. A pretty unusual and unique synth. However, Bob Moog mainly used it for educational purposes because of its portability. Number two, Yamaha CS20M. We actually used this synthesizer on the second Dream Machine album, Breaking the Circle, which provided some seriously crazy and fat sounds. The way we got this thing is when we drove to Houston, Texas once to purchase a Tascam 388, and the guy threw it into the deal for us. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Anyway, it's a monophonic analog synth with dual VCOs that use subtractive synthesis to create bass, synth, lead, and percussive sounds. It also features eight memory locations for patch storage for your favorite most used sounds. Overall, just a really great 70s synthesizer that produces really heavy sounds. And number one, Sequential Circuits Profit 5. I've made a video about this wonderful synthesizer before because it's definitely a 70s classic. Created by Dave Smith and John Bowen, it's the first polyphonic synthesizer with fully programmable memory, eliminating the constant chore of having to reprogram the sounds you want manually. This was a pretty significant feature because now you could create familiar sounds that became classic to certain genres. Think of the car's Let's Go or Kraftwerk's Computer World. It created a sense of familiarity within certain sounds which wasn't accessible before. What are some classic 70s synthesizers in your eyes? Until next time, my friends.